In this video, I'm going to go more in depth about all the controversy that has recently surrounded Jisoo's drama and why it's considered so problematic by Korean citizens. But first, let's go through some other news. Netizens have been heavily praising Jaehyun's professionalism and for a good reason. There's nothing on earth that can make this guy step back from performing. NCT 127's first offline concert in three years, titled Neo City Soul, The Link, was a massive success. But on the stage of the final concert on December 19th, Jaehyun revealed something quite concerning. Jaehyun said, I have a TMI. Before going on stage, I got a scar on my cornea, so I had to take out my lenses, and I was worried that I couldn't see well, but now that I'm looking at everyone, I feel like my vision just got better. Not surprisingly, he was able to perform without a hitch, and in fact, given how well all the stages looked, it was hard to tell that there was anything wrong. Jaehyun was a true professional as he carried on with the performances like nothing was going on whatsoever. Now that's what we call a performer. There are many people who could give their arm and leg for a chance to get into 80s fan sign, but there's one who really misused this occasion. The person in question is a Russian YouTuber and TikToker who went viral for all the wrong reasons after she attended this fan sign. First of all, when it was her turn to talk to Young, she told him, I praise you for having found your own style and stopped imitating Jimin. She also asked Song whether Young was a good friend, and when Song answered yes, she said to him, but sometimes you just want to smack him, right? Because me too. Then she went on Instagram to talk about her experience at the fan sign, and not only did she accuse Mingi of not smiling and not waving at her, like he's there solely for her entertainment, she also pulled her eyes back to imitate San, saying that she was really surprised how big his eyes were and that he even has eyes. She also posted a video of her throwing away her 80s albums after the fan meet, like anyone would care that they're losing her as a fan, but the situation turned out much more different than she had expected. After the immense backlash, she posted her apology about the situation. She said, I am really sorry for misunderstanding this situation. I am not searching for your excuse, but just want to let everybody know that 80s means a lot in my life and I will never insult on purpose. I'm just sad that 80s members had to experience that. They really don't deserve it. Jisoo's first drama, Snowdrop, already has thousands of fans eagerly awaiting the next episode. However, the show has an equal, if not larger, number of people who want it cancelled, with over 300,000 already having signed a petition to the Blue House to cancel it for distortion of history. Snowdrop found itself in a lot of controversy before the drama even aired, especially by Korean viewers. The synopsis and the original name of Jisoo's character alone caused a lot of noise and the drama had just been announced. The controversy began in March 2021 after a leaked synopsis of the show surfaced online, revealing that the show would take place in 1987, an important year for South Korea's pro-democracy movement. People discovered that in the series, Hae-in would play a North Korean spy named Im Soo-ho, who seeks refuge at a woman's university, where he meets Jisoo's character, Eun Young-ro, who mistakes him for a pro-democracy activist. If that wasn't enough, of a problem, Jisoo's character was initially named Eun Young Cho, but was later changed by JTBC because the name was very similar to that of real-life democracy activist Chun Young Cho. But even after Jisoo's character name change, Snowdrop makers were accused of distorting historical events, leading to a lot of protesting. At that time, JTBC had stated, There is no setting in the script for the male and female protagonists to participate or lead the democratization movement. People were still on the fence about the whole thing, and the petition only kept gaining signatures, but fans were still asking the people not to be rash and at least wait until the first episode aired. Well, it finally did, and that didn't go smoothly either. The pilot episode, which aired on December 18th, has not gone down well with many Korean viewers and appears to have confirmed their worst fears. The petition mentioned a scene where Hae-in's character, who is a spy, is being chased down by an NSA agent. What stood out for Korean viewers was the background song. The drama played a historically significant song that used to symbolize the pro-democracy movement. It's a song that emphasizes the pain and victory of those who are carrying out the democratization movement. Given that many of the Korean viewers of Snowdrop had parents and grandparents, if not themselves, involved in the 1987 movement, it is no surprise that this drama has hit a raw nerve. The role of Jung Hae-in's character as a spy mistaken for a pro-democratic leader has especially been seen as insensitive, since the reality was the other way around. In the 1980s, the South Korean president at the time had claimed the protest as a communist movement and had used it as an excuse to crack down on students and activists, declaring them to be North Korean spies. Several innocent students and protesters were tortured and arrested by the then government under accusations of being a spy. At the time of the democratization movement, there were victims of the movement who were tortured and 
as spies without any basis, and we think that making a drama with such content despite these historical facts would definitely undermine the value of the democratization movement. Several petitioners were also concerned about international viewers learning about Korean democracy through Snowdrop, which is allegedly an incorrect portrayal. They say, We think it should not be aired anymore because it can instill a false view on the history of the democratization movement in many foreigners. The other issue people have with Snowdrop is the glorification of the NSA by the show. In one of the scenes in the second episode, an NSA agent attempts to interrogate female students in the sauna, but the girls decline, so the agent leaves. What would have happened in reality, and what has actually happened, is that when an activist got actually arrested in a sauna by the NSA, he was hurt so badly he developed Parkinson's. The NSA in this show actually runs around trying to catch North Korean spies, they leave activist students alone, and they actually go to get warrants and follow legal procedure. What era and country is this NSA from? I mean, if this is considered glorification, just how bad was the reality? The show also displayed red flags by how much it was supported by right-wing individuals and groups, and that caused the sponsors to withdraw from the drama left and right. In light of the petition and the overall controversy, several brands have distanced themselves from the project, stating that they were not shown the script prior to the airing. Dolpyang Yu, a ceramics manufacturer, reportedly asked JTBC to remove the company logo and return the products. Organic grain brand Sadi J Village went so far as to state that they were ashamed that their product had been used in Snowdrop. The heads of the company said that they themselves have been part of the pro-democracy protests in their youth, and the distortion has come as an unpleasant surprise. Companies and netizens aren't the only ones to share their disapproval of the drama, as a former presidential candidate, who was a protester herself, spoke on her own concerns. In a lengthy Twitter thread, she says, Creative freedom should be humble in the face of the wounds of history. But the issue only gets deeper as the families of the NSA victims at the time have started speaking out against the drama. The family of Pak Chang Chol, who was a student who, after brutal interrogation by the NSA, has spoken out about how Snowdrop is causing harm to victims of the NSA. The family has pointed out that there are still living families of those who were accused of being North Korean spies and tortured, and the drama recreates the narrative that was used against victims. In response to all of this, JTBC released another statement. The statement said, The motive behind Snowdrop's story, background, and major events is the presidential political situation during the military's regime. Most of the misunderstandings that were pointed out by many people, such as historical distortion and disparaging of the democratization movement, will be resolved through the drama's future episodes as the show goes through its storyline. This is not the first time people have protested against a show due to historical distortion. In March 2021, SBS's Joseon Exorcist was cancelled after only two episodes due to historical inaccuracies and nationwide protest. Incidentally, the petition against Joseon Exorcist had collected only a few hundred signatures more than Snowdrop has till now. In response to the petition, international fans of Jisoo and Blackpink have filed other requests to the Blue House denying the allegations of distorting history and demanding that Snowdrop continue to air as scheduled. On Twitter, international blinks have been instructing others how to give their signatures to the Blue House website and calling out for more people to join. Most fans believe that because Blackpink has a huge international fandom, that they can get more signatures than Koreans. But despite their efforts, the number of signatures to continue airing Snowdrop so far has only stopped at more than 3,700. It's an understatement to say that netizens are enraged. Snowdrop is probably not going to get cancelled, but given how the controversy is escalating, things don't look look very good for the cast and crew either way. What do you think about the Snowdrop controversy? Share your thoughts in the comments! Hope you enjoyed the video! Bye!